Hey guys, fads again. How are you all going? Cheers. Just sort of do a quick video. Um, haven't done this before, but I'm making a yeast starter. So it's the first yeast starter of, of uh, I'm making. Uh, and also, I'm trying to culture the yeast from um, bottles. So I've got Cooper's Pale Ale here. And as you can see, I'm drinking around right now. So um, I've got six bottles. Uh, I think I've had three already, but um, I'm just drinking them down, pouring it in ever so carefully to leave about a centimetre or centimetre and a half of, of uh, beer in the bottom of the bottles um, just to leave the yeast in the bottom of the bottles and uh, I've got the stove boiling uh, I've got 500 mils of uh, half a litre of water on the stove just springing up to a boil and I'm going to add in um, 50 grams of light dry malt just to give the yeast some food so uh, I'm going to drink this down and then I'll I'll show you me adding the, the dry malt to the to the pot so be back in a minute so, as you can see, it's on the ball. I'm just going to turn it off. And I've got 50 grams. Get it in there. Of our light drum off. So, I'm just going to give that a stir and um, let that cool. And uh, then I'm going to um, pour it into a bottle, a sanitised bottle, and uh, add the yeast. So, so just while I'm waiting for that um, pot to cool down, I'm going to whack it in the sink in a minute with some cold water so it uh, hurries the process up. But just sort of pour this out. So these these have been in the fridge for about a week, um, just so probably actually more than that, but um, just so the yeast settles at the bottom of the bottles. Just pouring it out ever so gently, just to try and keep as much of the yeast in the bottom of the bottle as possible. So, terrible job this one. I've got to repeat this six times to get enough. <laughs> so, I really like this beer too. It's, um, A really nice beer. Okay, probably left a bit more than I have in the other bottles in in the bottom of this one. I don't know if you can see it, guys. Yeah, just there. I'll just try and get a bit more out. Just that was so slightly. I don't know. It's more cloudy, so I want to keep that. So I'm just going to pop the lid back on on this one. And uh, put it back in the fridge. Now I've got this bottle. So it's a 750 ml bottle. It's actually ginger cordial, which um, I'm experimenting with another brew, I'm trying to make some ginger beer. But um, as you can see, the foam in there. So it's all sanitized, ready to go. I'm going to cool this. Um, well, it's a bit of wort actually. So cool the wort down. It's 500 ml, so it's going to fill just over sort of half of this bottle and um, pour the dregs in just keep the cap a little bit loose so that it, um, the CO2 can escape give it a shake every day or so um, and in about five days I'm going to pour this into a um, I've got a Cooper's Pale Ale can um, and I've got some light liquid malt as well Excuse me. So I'm going to do a brew day um, with that. I've got some Cascade hops, and I think I've got some Amarillo left. I'm pretty sure I've got some Citra left. So I'm going to do a little boil as well. But I'll do a separate video for that. But this is going to be my starter for the Cooper's Pale Ale. So cheers, guys. So that's about it, really. Well, I'll, I'll show you once I've got it in the bottle. So I'll come back to you in a minute. Hi, right, guys. So this is 
the wart, wort, sorry, um, the 500 mils of um, this water and DME um, that I've just poured in here. It's still a little bit warm, so I'm not going to pour the yeast in just yet. Plus, I've still got two beers to drink as well. So, um, just going to pop this in the fridge, cool it down a little bit more, um, pour the bottles in one by one into the into the work and put that down in my fermentation fridge uh, for about a week and I'm just gonna I'm gonna leave the lid on but I'm just gonna um, not do it up real tight so that the CO2 can escape um, if I press it like that I know it can get out uh, but no oxygen can come in really um, and uh, I'll give it a shake, sort of like a stir, every sort of day, and um, hopefully it starts to ferment and um, the yeast multiplies. And I'm going to pour this straight into my Cooper's Cooper's um, pale ale brew. So when I'm doing brew day, I'll, I'll show you all that. But um, but that's it, of course. I'm just going to pour the the dregs of the the Cooper's bottles in into here, and happy days. So cheers, guys. Live life, drink beer. See you later.